Good box. Next is uh, reactions of uh, carboxylic acid. Reactions. Reactions of uh, carboxylic acid. The first reaction is uh, Hell or hard Selinsky reaction. First one. Hell or hard Selinsky reaction, also known as uh, HVZ reaction. Hell or hard Selinsky reaction. So, carboxylic acids containing alpha hydrogen atom when treated with chlorine or bromine in presence of a small amount of phosphorus will give alpha halogenated acid so what is that carboxylic acids containing carboxylic acids containing alpha hydrogen alpha hydrogen when treated with when treated with chlorine or uh, bromine in presence of in presence of red phosphorus red phosphorus will give will give alpha halogenated alpha halogenated acid this reaction is known as uh, uh, hell or hard selinsky reaction so uh, uh, carboxylic acid containing alpha hydrogen that means example look at it here you can see that uh, CH3 CH2 COOH okay so actual structure is uh, CH3 uh, CH2 C double bond o, OH that means uh, CO group attached carbon this is alpha carbon so in that carbon there are uh, alpha hydrogen atoms so this type of uh, acid or look at it here how I am writing CH3, you can see that one of the alpha hydrogen, CH2 can be written as CHH. Okay, then you can write COOH, this is our alpha hydrogen. When treated with chlorine or bromine in presence of red phosphorus, will give alpha halogenated. That means this alpha hydrogen will be replaced by a halogen, and what we get, we get CH3, CH. Cl, COOH plus what will form HCl. This reaction is known as a hell or hard Selensky reaction. So keep it in mind, uh, carboxylic acids containing alpha hydrogen when treated with the chlorine or bromine in presence of red phosphorus, what will happen? The alpha hydrogen, one of the alpha hydrogen atoms will be replaced by the halogen and we get uh, alpha halogenated. Here you are getting alpha chlorinated uh, propanoic acid. Uh, and this reaction is known as a hell or hard Selinsky uh, reaction. Of course, uh, uh, look at it here, you are acetic acid, CH3COH. This, uh, this hydrogen is also alpha carbon. So, what you will get? Uh, you can see that uh, C double bond O. Okay, here it is C double bond O. o. And uh, this is alpha carbon. And uh, since these uh, hydrogen atoms are alpha hydrogen atoms, so when it is treated with the Br2 in presence of phosphorus, red phosphorus, what will happen? One of the alpha hydrogen atoms, so if we get uh, CH2 uh, Br, what is that? Uh, COH. Okay, you get uh, this one. Another example, look at it here. Another example, suppose uh, for your examination, a question is like this. Uh, look at it here. Okay, so suppose. Uh, your question is like this, COH when treated with uh, bromine in presence of uh, red phosphorus, what is your product, what is your product, okay. So look at it here, uh, we must know that uh, this is a uh, carboxylic acid and uh, this UO group attached to carbon, this carbon is alpha carbon. So here uh, uh, hydrogen atom is there, so you can write uh, the structure like this, this is here, uh, actually here it is CH2, I, uh, actually in this structure here is CH2. One of the hydrogen atoms can be written like this and you can see that when it is treated with the Br2 and the red phosphorus that means definitely this reaction is HVZ reaction because the reagent is a halogen and red phosphorus so the reaction is a HVZ reaction therefore the alpha hydrogen atom will be replaced by bromine and you get, uh, you get a compound like this. Clear? Okay. Now second reaction, carboxylation reaction. So first one is uh, HV is a reaction, second reaction of uh, carboxylic acid is uh, uh, second reaction, carboxylation reaction, carboxylation. Carboxylation reaction means uh, 
Uh, so reaction with uh, soda lye. Okay, that means action with action with action with uh, soda lime. Soda lime. Soda. Soda lime means it's a mixture of uh, NaOH and uh, calcium oxide. Yeah, soda lime is a mixture of uh, sodium hydroxide and uh, calcium oxide. So look at here carboxylation reaction. So here you can see that uh, uh, sodium salt of uh, monocarboxylic acid. Sodium salt of uh, monocarboxylic acid. When treated with or when heated with uh, soda lime, uh, will uh, give an alkane. Will give an alkane which contain one carbon less than that in the starting carboxylic acid. So once again, what do you mean by decarboxylation reaction? When monocarboxylic acids, sodium salt of monocarboxylic acids, uh, when treated with uh, soda lime, will give an alkane. That alkane containing one carbon less than that in the starting carboxylic acid. So, what is uh, carboxylation reaction? You can see that uh, here is our uh, uh, RCOH. We, we need here uh, sodium salt of uh, monocarboxylic acid. That means uh, RCONA when treated with the soda lime. Soda lime means NaOH and CaO heated. What will happen? You can see that. Uh, look at here. What is happening here? Uh, uh, look at here. Uh, okay. What is eliminating Na2? Na2. Uh, sorry. Uh, Na2. Here it is. Here it is like this. O also. So you can see that what is eliminating Na2CO3. Na2CO3 is eliminating. And the RH. What is what is uh, RH plus Na2 Na2CO3. Okay. Look at it here. If you take a specific example. CH3 uh, COL, CON, uh, sodium salt of uh, acetic acid and the acetic acid is containing two carbon atom when treated with uh, NaOH and CaO, calcium oxide, uh, soda light when treated with NaOH and CaO, what is eliminating? You can see that uh, Na2CO3 is eliminating, Na2CO3 is eliminating, so CH3 will join with H and what do you get? You get alkane CH4 plus what is uh, Na2CO3. Here you can see that this alkane methane containing only one carbon but you are starting uh, carboxylic acid is containing two carbon. So this reaction is known as a decarboxylation reaction. So we get an alkane which contain one carbon less than that in the starting uh, acid, carboxylic acid. This reaction is known as a decarboxylation reaction. That's third one. Kolb's electrolysis. Kolb's reaction or you can write Kolb's reaction. Third reaction, Kolb's reaction. Kolb's reaction. In Kolb's reaction, when concentrated aqueous solution of a sodium or potassium salt of a carboxylic acid is electrolyzed, we get an alkane with the even number of carbon atoms. Once again, when so what is called uh, when when uh, concentrated aqueous solution of solution of Sodium or potassium salt of sodium or or potassium salt salt of carboxylic acid carboxylic acid is electrolyzed is electrolyzed electrolyzed will give will give an alkane an alkane alkane with with even number of even number of number of carbon atoms carbon atoms okay even number of carbon atoms always we get uh, uh, alkane with even number of carbon atoms so look at it here when concentrated aqueous solution of sodium or potassium salt that means look at it here or you can say generally RCONA sodium salt of uh, carboxylic acid here look at it here here we need two moles of acid two moles of acid when electrolyzed, uh, electrolyzed that means uh, H2O, electrolysis, electrolysis, okay, electrolysis, what is happening? So look at here how I am writing two, uh, two moles of RCONA, first two moles, uh, then second molecule RCONA, okay. Now you can see that here it is uh, two molecules of uh, CO2, CO2 is eliminating, then R and R will join together, so you get R, R plus uh, CO2, CO2, two moles of uh, CO2 plus you get uh, two moles of Na is here and uh, in water there is uh, uh, H and OH is here so two moles of uh, NaOH plus uh, in water hydrogen plus uh, H2 this is the 
equation for uh, uh, Kolb's reaction. So two moles of uh, sodium salt or potassium salt uh, 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 will undergo. Uh, uh, that means when you write a balanced equation, it will be like this. Okay, and now you can see that uh, when sodium or potassium salt of uh, uh, carboxylic acid on electrolysis will get uh, an alkene with the even number of uh, carbon atoms. So this is the equation. Uh, look at here uh, for simplicity. I am explaining like this. Two moles of uh, RCONA. You can see that uh, two moles of CO2 is eliminating. Then R and R will join together. Plus uh, CO2 plus CO2. That means two moles of CO2. Na and uh, OH is from water. So two moles of NaOH. Then hydrogen is present. Then that hydrogen. So now the mechanism of uh, Kolb's reaction. Mechanism. Mechanism of Kolb's uh, reaction. Kolb's uh, reaction involves uh, free radical uh, mechanism, free radical reaction, free radical, uh, free radical, free radical uh, mechanism, free radical mechanism. Okay. Uh, the free, the, it is involving free radical uh, reaction mechanism. So look at it here. In the first step, you can see that uh, we are taking uh, sodium salt of uh, 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 carboxylic or potassium salt of carboxylic acid. And in the first step, of course, you can see that uh, R or in a specific example, two moles of uh, CH3. C O O N A. Okay, in the first step in, in water, it will change into what will happen to uh, it will change into ionize. Uh, that means uh, ionization is taking place. We get uh, two moles of uh, CH three C O minus and uh, two A N A plus. Okay, actually this is the first step. Ionization of uh, uh, sodium or potassium salt. It will change into uh, ions. It will change into ions. Okay. Now uh, reaction at the reaction. Now uh, look at here reaction at the anode at the anode okay anode reaction at the anode of course towards the anode which uh, ions will move the negatively charged ions will move towards the anode so you can see that two moles of ch3 co or minus is moving towards the anode and uh, minus two electron minus two electron it will uh, give out two electrons at the anode and it will change into uh, uh, and it will change into two moles of ch3 free radical plus two moles of uh, co2 this is happening at the anode uh, carboxylate ion this uh, ion negatively charged ion is moving towards the anode at the anode it is uh, donating or uh, giving out two electrons uh, two electrons and it will change into two moles of ch3 free radical and uh, two moles of uh, carbon dioxide now reaction at the cathode reaction at the cathode at the cathode you can see that uh, water water percent in the solution will dissociate into uh, uh, OH, OH minus OH minus and uh, H plus by taking plus one electron by taking this is here it is electron is giving out that electron will be taken by will taken by will be taken by water molecule and it will change into uh, OH minus OH minus and uh, H free radical H free radical okay this is happening at uh, uh, cathode now look at it here uh, at the anode we are getting at the anode we are getting two moles of CH3 free radical now this CH3 free radical, one CH3 free radical will join with the another CH3 free radical and it will change into CH3, CH3, we get ethane, okay, it can any two carbon atom, okay, two uh, carbon atom, suppose here it is a ethyl group, CH3, CH2 free radical, that means if you are taking a CH3, CH2 CO, if you are taking next acid, CH3, CH2, CO minus, well, which free radical will form? CH3, CH2 free radical will form. Two molecules of CH3, CH2 free radical will join together and what will form? CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. That means again, the number of carbon atom will become four. Uh, okay, that means here, uh, CH3 free radical sub join together and you get uh, alkene with the two carbon atom. Next is CH3, CH2 free radical. That will join together and you get uh, alkene with the four carbon. That is why we are feeling that uh, uh, this reaction will always give alkene with the even number of carbon atom. Also, here you are getting at the anode what is forming. At the anode you can see that uh, alkene with the even number of carbon atom is forming. And at the cathode you can see that uh, as I have discussed, 
as we uh, already told H2O uh, will take one electron and it will change into OH minus and uh, H free radical. Now one H free radical will join with the another H free radical and it will change into H2O, uh, H2. This will be eliminated at the cathode. Now you can see that here it is Na is there and here it is OH is there. They will join together and it will change into NaOH. Okay, so uh, all the products are there. First, uh, alkane is there, then carbon dioxide is there, then hydrogen is there. Now you can see that this OH minus and the Na that will that will be remain in the solution, so it will change into uh, uh, NaOH, or it, uh, it, it can it will remain only Na plus and OH minus, or we can say it is. Uh, NaOH will be in the solution. This reaction, this is the mechanism of Gold's uh, 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 reaction. Clear? Okay, and thank you. We will continue in the in next class.